There's one. There's one. There we go. Now we got a good one, guys. Guys, Jared here. I am back out here at the Arkansas. This is 4th Street Bridge, by the way. Uh, just got here. It is December. And uh, got the fly rod in hand. See if we can play with some trout here. There's a mallard over there quacking. Uh, it looks beautiful out, but trust me. It is chilly. I got the uh, old stocking cap on. I got a sweater. I got a hoodie. I got it all. So I'm going to walk upstream here. Uh, expecting to meet uh, Joe out here. Joe's uh, somebody that follows me. We talk on uh, Instagram about the fishing out here. But I've uh, got my five weight rod, strike indicator, uh, 6X down to. Uh, what I call my pig sticker, uh, basically it's a kind of bloodworm pattern. And behind that, I've got my little uh, emerger size 22 on there. So let's uh, cover some ground. Let's do a little walking. I'm gonna head upstream and uh, see if we can find some fish. Okay, well, there's a ton of people taking advantage of this beautiful day out here. It's chilly, but it's gorgeous. No wind. So, I'm going to start tossing this in the ruffles here. Let's see where these guys are holding today. I do see a few fish surfacing. So, if I don't hook up pretty quick here, I might switch over to mergers right on the surface. Guys, we got one here. On the emerger again. So that's all we're using is two emergers right on the surface. Nice strike on this guy too. A little better fish this time. A little better fish it looks like. Come here, buddy. Ooh, he's getting down there in the current. That's a nice fish. Come on. Woo! Come on, buddy. Oh, no, not that way. This way. Nice rainbow. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. This way. There we go. We got them, guys. Nice. Nice. Stocky. Stocky rainbow. Let's see if we can find that fly in them. Nice rainbow. Nice fish. Let him go. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing along with me. That was fun. Okay. Well, guys, I've been here a couple hours and I started fishing subsurface, not much going on. Started seeing a little bit of surface activity and went to the two emergers, both size 22. Starting uh, to get a little more action. A lot of little ones surfacing, but we did catch up one decent one. Uh, no strike indicator, just fishing right on the surface. I'm actually down drifting this hole here. Okay, gang, we got another nice one on here. Another nice one. Get them on the reel again. Boy. He uh, hit it and just started jumping when I set the hook. There he is. Very nice. He's 
guy's got tons of energy. Don't get behind that rock there, buddy. Another nice rainbow. Looks a little bigger, maybe. Feels a little bigger than the last one. Well, now we're going on the inside. Yeah, that's a nice fish right there. Nice fish. Another fat one. Wow. How's that, guys? Another fatty. You can see that uh, little merch right in the his mouth right there. There we go. Pops right out. Those barbless hooks. They do the job here. Come here, buddy. This is another stocky fish. Look at that. Nice fish. We'll let him go. We'll see you later, buddy. Awesome. Another nice fish on the little merger right on the surface. In the wintertime, December, right here in Pueblo. Let me show you my setup. Since I just caught that fish, I'm going to need to put some more gink on here. Make sure these flies are floating. It's just floating. Squeeze a little on my finger. It's so cold out here. It's hard to get it to come out. Okay. Run it all the way down the line. Uh oh, what did I catch? Cut myself. Ouch. Cut myself. Don't worry, I'll live. Okay. Right down my line. I've got my size 22 merger here. And right behind that, we've got another same exact thing, size 22 merger, all ginked up, floating. Don't know if you can see how well you can see that, but. And I'm just kind of casting it out, letting it down drift. Pick it back up, set it down, let it down drift. Makes it a lot tougher when you're down drifting to get a hook up because their mouth is the same direction you're trying to set the hook in. But uh, this hole is good for just kind of conducive to down drifting. Uh, down there, we've got oh, miss that guy. We've got a bunch of rocks right here, and we get these cross currents and funky currents here. If I uh, try to fish within the rocks themselves. So it's a little easier to fish, get a better drift, down drifting here. So let's see if we can get ourselves another one. Well, we got one guys, we got another one of the, these big monsters here. Another little guy. There we go. No net needed. Nice little one. I lost three in a row, three decent fish in a row. And then we get this little guy. So we'll let him go. Okay, we'll see you later. Boy, you buzzed away quick. Okay, one more, one more fish. Come on guys, let's get one more. There's one. There's one. There we go. Now we got a good one, guys. We got a good one on there. All right. All right. Nice fish. Yeah, we got a nice one on here, guys. Nice fish. Sorry, camera shut off for some reason. This is a nice 
nice fish here. This should looks to be the biggest of the day, I'd say. And the last one of the day. Nice fish. Yep. Come here, buddy. It's a nice fish. Right on the little emerger, right on the surface, and the surface skim there. Come here, buddy. Look at that one. That's a nice one. All right. Yep, that's the biggest of the day. For sure. Beautiful, gorgeous fish. Well, we're gonna get you unhooked here, buddy. We're gonna get you unhooked here, and then we're gonna let you go right there in the lip. I don't know if you can see that fly. Oh, pulled right out. Pulled right out. Gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow. Oh, and the way it goes. There he goes. Beautiful fish. Very nice. What a way to finish the afternoon off here at the Arkansas River in Pueblo. Do me a favor, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. It's free. It helps me out. It helps my channel out. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for checking out our video. We'll see you next time.